Are you aware of how cognitive load affects neurodivergent students? Now, since I've published my research guide to memory, I've been living some of the concepts in schools and colleges all across the UK and sometimes internationally. And what I've learned or what I keep getting asked is how do your recommendations transfer to support neurodivergent teachers and students? So particularly the topics on working memory and cognitive load. So in this blog post just published, there is a new research paper that neurodivergent teachers will love and those that work with neurodiverse students. And as a result, I'm always asked, what recommendations would I give for students, parents, and teachers who work with neurodiverse students? How would I translate my recommendations to meet neurodiverse needs? So in this paper, you've got a graphic, really interesting graphic, and lots of recommended resources and research recommendations. And it's something I'm really keen to explore to help people, but also to top up my own knowledge. So this is a systematic review, which means it's researched other bits of research and looked at particularly neurodiversity and cognitive load. And the researchers suggest, wait for it, a major gap between the relationship between neurodiverse needs and cognitive load. And this seems to mirror my experiences on my travels, particularly when I'm providing neurotypical recommendations. How do you translate these to suit neurodivergent students? So as a reminder from me, cognitive load is your mental effort required to process what I'm saying. So the subtitles on the screen may or may not help. It depends on how I minimize redundant information. For example, let's talk about the weather. It's irrelevant to this material. So understanding how cognitive load impacts neurodiverse students, or at least ignoring it, will lead to inequitable learning experiences. So this graphic you'll find very interesting. It's got intrinsic load, extraneous load, and germane load. The research paper offers some recommendations. This graphic, which is worth exploring, and lots of re recommendations for teachers. And as ever from me, my CPD question to you is, how do you adapt your best teaching strategy to support your neurodiverse students. Thanks for watching.